It's Friday the 2nd of September 2011 and you know what that means. It's wrap up time. Normally I'd not address the recent lost iPhone 5 prototype as it doesn't really fall under our gaming purview, but let's be honest, either the Apple marketing machine has run out of ideas or this was an actual honest mistake. In either case, why would you sell it on eBay for only $200 when tech blogs are willing to shell out even more? Oh well, I kind of have no choice in the matter and I'll have to get one regardless, but I'm definitely looking forward to some concrete news on the final device specs, and it's a shame this one has been shrouded in secrecy for so long. On to the news. Not much else to say here. Last week we pointed out that popular management style game developer Kyrosoft had their sights set on the iOS market for their racing themed sim title, though details on an English release were scarce. A recent update on the Kyrosoft site has strongly hinted at a September the 8th release of the game. If you're a fan of the company's work, you want to keep your eyes on the App Store on that date. Some of you may not remember the developer Tiger Style, but you should because they're the brains behind the wonderfully intriguing and challenging game Spider The Secret of Bryce Manor. Seriously, not enough good things can be said about this game that manages to tell its story with almost zero dialogue or text. Lost Mars is a sci-fi themed side-scroller from the same studio, tagged with the teaser of What do you get when you mix one part Metroid, one part 1970s era sci-fi film, and one part gardening? For now, the game certainly looks intriguing, so it at least has that going for it, but we'll update when we get more details of this upcoming title. That's right, if you haven't heard of this delightfully charming arcade title, you have now, and better still, you'll eventually be able to play it on your iPhone or iPad as well. The aim of this game is to place a series of blocks on the screen to assist the AI-controlled creatures to achieve various tasks in the time limit provided. Occasional boss battles provide a series of challenges to overcome as well. While not as cool as using physical blocks in the arcade version, it may still provide a family-friendly alternative to those who like to share their games with the younger members of their household. Big Blue Bubble brought out Burn the Rope a few months after Chillingo's release of Cut the Rope, and at the time I had hoped it wasn't a mere cash-in on the name. It wasn't, and in fact it proved to be a disturbingly addictive title, if only because of its catchy music that refused to stop looping in your brain and haunted you as you tried to sleep. The announcement of a sequel to the iOS device twisting title comes as welcome news, though if the screenshots are any indicator it's going to be harder than ever and packed with new features to explore. The game is tentatively slated for a launch in the second week of September. Over a year ago I took a chance on an unknown indie developer and his sexy looking puzzle game, and ended up falling in love with it. Matt Rix's puzzle title Train Yard included innovations that are yet to be fully embraced by other developers, such as the ability to view and upload solutions in real time on his website. And once the word was out, the game got the attention it truly deserved. A recent update to the game has not only added more puzzles, universal support and bug fixes, but also an engineering mode to create your own levels, giving Train Yard an almost endless supply of content for those who fork out the 99 cents for the full version. Seeing as we've got so much to cover in the coming week, I felt it would be remiss of me not to mention this amazing word puzzle title on the App Store. Quarrel by India Games and Ignition Entertainment manages to mash together Risk and Scrabble in a way that's so addictive, you'd have to wonder if an unholy ceremony was involved. The basic gameplay splits a territory up and distributes the armies of the player and their AI opponents around the map, with each turn allowing the current player to move armies around, awarding them with a letter limit that matches the size of their army and gaining bonuses for using the same army over and over. The only thing holding back Quarrel is the lack of multiplayer, something the game should have had packed in from the get-go considering the immense popularity of games like Words with Friends. Even still, if you fancy yourself a wordsmith and you want to add a combative edge to your Scrabble gameplay, Quarrel is the game for you. Does there really have to be an announcement for this week's Game of the Week? I mean, really? Okay, for those of you who have not already heard me and just about everybody with a pulse on the App Store talking over the last 24 hours, Jetpack Joyride is where the party is at. And not without good reason. The gorgeously smooth gameplay and slick 2D graphics pair perfectly with the simple single touch endless gameplay that not only rewards players for staying alive longer, but also for completing multiple abstract objectives such as giving scientists a high five or dodging missiles at the last moment. Add in the slew of unlockable aesthetic upgrades as well as power-ups and modifications for the many vehicles on offer and you've got yourself an addictive title that rewards you every time you sit down and play. If you thought the endless runner genre had nothing left to offer, you need to give Jetpack Joyride a try. 
And that's the wrap-up for this week. As always, I hope this week's content was enjoyable. And if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hold on to your hat as content comes flying at you like a capuchin monkey after drinking a pack of Red Bull. But in all seriousness, feel free to spread the word via Twitter, Facebook, or any other social network you lurk on. We love seeing new faces around our site and on the comments. Until next week, have a fun weekend. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.